Alright, hi, hello, welcome back to the Forge of Fiesta, I'm Dove, and uh, yeah, I've gained a few levels since then, not a whole lot, um, and I, I had a lot of money, and now I don't, and um, also I did this thing, because it turns out the magic defense doubles there, and uh, as much as one point of defense and agility, as nice as that is, I'm gonna stick with uh, that. Um, everybody's all healed up. Everybody's good. Uh, I don't remember if I shuffled jobs around or not, but you know. Also because I think I did this? Yes, I did. Okay, cool. We've lost nothing. Let's continue. That's That town is optional and a pit stop. However, most people don't skip that unless you're like speedrunning or whatever. Because, um... Oops, not what I meant. Um, animals. By the way, Ferris knows animals now. Counter, counter, counter. When there's also a new animal, Flying Squirrel, it paralyzes everything. I learned what the animals did over the course of my grinding. Counter, counter, counter. Oh. Yeah, I meant to... Also, I don't have a fire bow equipped, so that was kind of pointless anyway. I should have just animals Oh well. Like that, for example. Alright, let's do another thing. You know, this isn't going to be that big of a deal. Yeah, bye. Also, bye. And... Wait for it, bye. Probably. Yeah, okay, bye. So I probably don't need to fight any- But yeah, most people don't skip Regal just because it has an upgrade in magic, namely Bio if you have Black Mage and uh, Shell and whatnot if you don't. If you have a White Mage, I mean, rather. And I think some Time Magic. I haven't used Time Mage in like a million years, so I don't know what Time Magic even is anymore. But uh, most people don't skip it because it's such a good stopover, especially after the big bridge. Like, chain of events. You go from Meteor Bosses, then you do Gal of Solo for a sec, Gilgamesh 1, big bridge, Gilgamesh 2, which is a lot of battles, then a long stretch of world map, and you're going to skip a town. Especially because I am skipping this place because this is Murderville. That's its official canon name, Murderville. Also, preemptive attack, yeah. I'll take free heal estate. I'm also gonna get rid of that mandrake in the back because I can. Also, these devourers, they absorb lightning. Fun fact. Pretty sure, anyway. I'm also not gonna bother jumping, it takes too long. Also, I really should move Gallop to the back row because I'm pretty sure spears are two times damage. Ooh, a crit. Didn't matter what I got there, it was fine. After all of the grinding, I did three levels worth and a bunch of money that I mostly spent on high potions. I'm not playing around here. Um, but after all that grinding, I kind of came into a nice little rhythm with the party, especially since everybody's going to have rapid fire by the end of this, or at least three out of four, maybe. I don't imagine. The Red Mage is going to have dual cast. Everyone else is going to have rapid fire, I think. Um, let me look at a map. Uh, I think I'm like really close to where I need to be. Yeah. And you head due east from here. I should have just animals. I'm gonna. An I should have. Mm, I did this entirely backwards. Oh man, have I made some mistakes? Flying squirrel. Cool. So everything's paralyzed. I'm just gonna crit things now. Now it doesn't matter what I do. Oh, you weren't paralyzed. Okay. That's sap. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Yeah, okay, how's it going? Nightingale. Yes. Nightingale is really common, but I figured out how the formula worked. I looked it up. I'm just going to do fire one, actually. Yeah. Counter, counter, counter. Yeah. That might be enough. It wasn't enough. So, yeah, and I'm really glad I only did fire one. Oh, nice. So, like, I kind of have a rhythm going in my party, and also... Okay, so let's go over the chain of events for not skipping Regal. You got Meteors, Castle, Big Bridge, long stretch of world map that goes on through here with no inn or anything. I don't I don't even think you, like, skip that in a speedrun. I think you go resupply there or something. I don't know. I actually haven't watched the speedrun. All I know is the speedrun is super optimized. But yeah, I'm getting into a rhythm with this party. Like... At least three people are going to have rapid fire with the red mage having dual cast. And I think I'll be okay in that regard. That said, I need a lot of high potions. So. Because I don't have a lot in the way of, like, actual heals. Also. Koopa Fall! 
Oh, bye. They don't have Moogles in Bartstown, but we do have Chocobos. Let's help it, because Lena, that's... She's not a one-note character, that's not the word I want to use, but... Okay. So, this part kind of sucks, and you're about to see why. I am not moving this character at all, and there are random encounters. It's just like the desert. Um, I should have animals, actually. I think these things are weak against Thunder, but I'm not sure. Scamper, shenanigans, and punchy punch, and stuff like that. These things are kind of beefy, actually. Um, let's try a lightning bow, actually, and see if they are, in fact, weak. Okay, okay, good counter. Thank you. Let's test, because if this works... If... Okay. No, I don't get a turn. That's fine. <laughs> Heck to me, right? Weak against Thunder. Thank you. That is what I wanted to know before I did stuff. Uh, there we go. Okay. There we go. That's a... There we go. I'm gonna leave the Thunder stuff equipped for right now. Okay, so... Let me look at my map. I did get one. I didn't move it to its own window because I'm intelligent like that. Okay, so this is safe. It's the next one that I want to worry about. Okay. Did I give you red? Yes, I did. No. It's... Having a secondary of red to burn melee MP on healing is very is going to help. Like, out of battle healing is going to be fine. In battle healing is going to be extremely rough. I'm just throwing that out there right now. Um, this run is going to be... I'm going to be somewhat glass cannony in the sense that healing is very difficult. Like, good healing. I should have done... What am I doing? Hey. Okay. Um, yeah, this one's... I'm going to be somewhat something of a glass cannon this uh this run here this uh particular fiesta if i'd gotten chemist i would not be worried at all but it wouldn't be very suspenseful like hey i have chemist i have nuked this boss tune in next time wonder what's gonna happen next huh yeah uh chemist would have been a complete no sell of the rest of the game i'm not even joking it's one of two instant win buttons the other being blue mage so this party makes it at least interesting, which I'm pretty grateful for. I can gripe about it. Also, job level. What did you get? I can't check because, you know what? I'm done here. <laughs> I don't need to fight everything. I need to start powering up my chicken knife anyway. Suck it, brave blade apologist. Hey, you look something different. Counter? No. Okay. I don't know what the others are weak to. I know the um, blood slime absorbs something damage, apparently. Vampire! Oh, god, that actually hurt a lot. Okay, this is where it gets interesting. Uh, let's see if you actually absorb thunder, like I think. No, you don't. You're just extremely resistant. Yeah, that's like my heals in battle for the rest of the game is Kira and high potions and elixirs later. Um... I'm gonna be grinding up a lot of elixirs later. Okay. This is. I need to get rid of that Moogle Leader, I think. I poisoned it? How did I poison the Blood Slime? Also, that's weak against Thunder. That's extremely good to know. Let's spread some damage around. Punch! E punch! Oh, this- oh, I missed. Okay, good. Nightingale, that's what I wanted to see. Get some actual healing. Oh, and it died to poison. Okay, good. Don't know how I poisoned it. 4,400 gills, very nice. I will take that, and I'm going to backtrack into the water here. I'm gonna run from this heck to those blood slimes. I don't know what they're weak to. Don't have the patience to figure that out. Gonna go back into the water, gonna go back into encounter hell, gonna actually fight these. This isn't that bad of an encounter. I can handle this. Perfect. I forgot Lena went first for some reason. That's on me. 
Yeah, like, if I had Chemist or Blue Mage, this wouldn't be an interesting fiesta. And it's not like I planned a fiesta. You can- I'm gonna put a link in this description to emphasize the point that, uh... Yeah, I didn't rig this. You can look online and see that I am playing this legit. Are you real? No. That was two steps. Two tiles? No. Heck off video game. I've gained a lot of patience over the years, as someone who plays video games and on the internet via YouTube, Twitch, whatever, what have you. One thing I have not grown patience for is extremely obnoxiously high encounter rates, and for that reason, I don't like this part of the game. The boss is free, also, screw this noise. I'm not finding three blood slimes, that took way too long and they actually hurt. I grind so that I could- ha <laughs> Screw that, no! Uh-uh. If I had a summoner, maybe. You are high. <laughs> okay, uh... So for this boss battle, can be kind of tough if I don't literally beat this in one turn by using a Phoenix Down. It's the Final Fantasy classic of use a Phoenix Down to completely annihilate a boss. If this doesn't work, I'll throw an Elixir at it. It worked. Cool. Koopa Blow! Also, Moogles don't like people. I wonder why. But... But Lena has a way with non-human creatures that are cute and cuddly and awesome, like Moogles. Don't worry, this one's not going to open any torsions on us. We're good. I kind of want to, like... If I'd had Foresight, I would have opened up, like, a sound effects folder and had that playing. I actually wonder if I have that kind of time, because this cutscene kind of goes on a while. So, yeah, what the Moogles doing is showing us, um... You know, it's showing us a way through. Also, it said don't go in the desert. If you go in the desert, like, even one step, you find a really obnoxious monster that gives, like, no rewards for how long it takes to kill. Especially with my loadout, it's bad. So, yeah. That's a thing. I guess I don't have the thing on me. I was gonna pull up the Opera Omnia sound font I have and just play Google lines here, but, you know, I could edit it, but I'm extremely lazy, so... As such, be given that the desert is the dangerous part, there's actually no encounters here at all. Like, absolutely no encounters in this, in, like, this part of the world map. Zero encounters. So after that free boss is pretty much smooth sailing for, like, a hot minute. Oh no, I've gone the wrong way. Good thing there's literally no encounters. Please do more of this. I think my favorite turn-based RPG with random encounters that did it right was Cthulhu Saves the World. Because you can force a battle at any time, and after a certain number of battles, forced or otherwise, you will automatically, n like, run out of random encounters. Like, you get a set amount of random encounters, you can grind them out, and then go through a dungeon at your leisure. It's great. Also, I think I went too high up. Where is it? Koopaville! Koopaville! Koopo? Uh, Koopo? Oh. Wait, where is it? There it is. Okay. <laughs> oh no, Koopa! Hey, Koopa! Have no fear. Warriors of Light X are here. Koopa. Oh, right. This is really obnoxious until you, like, find a Moogle that... Yeah, you get Koopo every few seconds until uh, you actually progress here. It can get kind of annoying. Oh god. Wait, but this is the one we saved! It recognizes us! Koopa Po! Koopa! They can understand us just fine, but all they say is Koopa. Which is fine. Two variants of Moogles those that are sentient and can talk, and those that are not. They're all awesome. Moogles are great. Koopa. Ether. Cottage. Dancing Dagger. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Phoenix Down. I'm also going to equip this right now in the I don't need to equip things right now button. One gill. This better have like 10,000 in it or something to make up for it. Hey, look, 10,000 gill. Koopa. Also, Moogleville doesn't hate us anymore. They're not scared of us because we saved a Moogle, so we're actually, like, pretty alright. Um, it's a Moogle costume! Let's do it up. Uh, 
Koopa. Alright, so we're gonna go in here. That treasure chest is locked, but because the power of cosplay or something, it's unlocked! And another elven mantle. I forgot that's where that one was. Uh, let's give it to... No, you need power. Let's give it to you and be like an actual elevation tank. Although you're not going to be around all that much. You're going to be in the air a lot. This will be fine. Also, I forgot to sign something. Also, also, I forgot to check what thing you just got. Oh, you got jump. Okay, perfect. Uh, I don't care about having that ability, so Galif is just... We're just going to leave the party as it is. Also, I'm extremely lazy. Are you still there? Okay, wait, I forgot to... Yeah. Yeah, every time you talk to it, it's just bouncy heart balloon. Which is cool, I guess. Um... Koopa... There's, like, I think one specifically I have to talk to. Could be wrong... Oh, wait, no, we go back to this one in the Moogle costume or something. Yeah. Well, I don't think you have to be in the costume, but, like... Moogles can communicate telepathically over great distances with other Moogles, which is really handy because Kryle has a Moogle. Also, Kryle can, can, can all, like, just straight up communicate with uh, animals and non-sentient... Well, not non-sentient moogles or sentient. That's what I'm looking for. You know what I mean. I can communicate with... She can communicate with beings that are not human. Anything Lena likes and will die for, Kryle can commune with. Is the best way I can put that. Because I'm bad at words. Also, the Windrake is sick, but the Windrake can take us to go get Galuf, which is completely... You know what? I'm gonna justify this right now, because we're about to see the flight path of this wind drake. Also, air traffic control moogles are fantastic, and I think more Final Fantasies need to recognize the potential in air traffic control moogles. Nose! Okay, I guess we don't see the flight path right this second. We're about to, I think. The nose! There we go. Koopa! Hey look, they made it a not forest, so the wind drake can land here. Except that's not how that works, but okay. Ground traffic control moogles are go! Hey look, it's a wind drake! It's a cryle! It's a best friends club! I, I really enjoy this, except yeah. Moogles. The Moogles told us because they can communicate telepathically. Also, that's the Moogle Kryl that Kryl hangs out with or just lives in Kryl's castle, I guess. There's just a Moogle there. Why the game never explains it ever? Do we really care or question it? Not really. It's just Kryl has a Moogle friend. There's probably a story behind it because some of the flashbacks we got while Galif was an amnesiac had absolutely nothing to do with anything. So... There's probably a lot of backstory that could be touched on in expanded material, preferably in just an Ultimania guide, not a prequel or anything. Thanks, Square Enix. You don't know how to expand on these, right? Okay, thanks. Um, yeah. Although I liked Crisis Corp, but I digress. So I think we see the flight path here. It's gonna spiral around a little bit. And then it's just gonna straight up fly over mountains, which bothers me because it's like you don't actually get that ability while, while flying a wind drake. However, I can justify this. This one is sick, and he was either desperate to get home, or even later on, spoiler alert, we do get this as a vehicle, quote-unquote. Um, after it's still shaky from recovering from this bout of dragon flu or whatever it has, and uh, can no longer fly over mountains or something, and maybe that was the problem with Hideyu back at Bartstown. Yay, Windrake. More RPGs need, like, dragon buddies that aren't, like, malicious or evil. Testing our strength is fine, but, like, just more dragon buddies. Okay, so before I go, I'm gonna show off a spot, but I'm not gonna do anything with it yet. 
Also, King Galuf. In case that wasn't foreshadowed enough in Bardstown, Galuf is a king! Which I guess makes Kryle a princess. So, yeah, Bards is literally surrounded by royalty. You never asked. Yeah, man, go get some rest. Bards continue to look dumbfounded. Forever. Look at that sprite. That sprite is a huge mood. I like that sprite a lot. So I got that funny look in your face. A king, yep. Yeah, you're you're not the epitome of kingliness. Why I oughta... Also, holy localization Batman coming up. Two princesses and a king, yep. Just Gallop. Bad jokes like that will get you punished. If I were streaming, I'd have my laugh track up, but I'm not going to do it for this video. That's that's incredibly cheap, but we're just going to let Bart speak for collectively everybody. Holy localization, Batman. Still, yeah, Gallop is pretty humble as a king. That's why it's kind of a not twist that I forget is supposed to be a twist. Like, yeah, Gallop is a king. We didn't know that before. It was kind of a reveal back in the day. Also, I learned teleport. That's pretty cool, I guess. Um... Yeah, not much to really go by there. Um, so yeah, before I cut, I want to go around the castle, because I'm not coming back here for like a hot minute. Uh, I'll have to talk to Kyle to progress the plot, but... Like, I'm not worried about that, specifically. I want to get treasure, because it's not a permanent missable, or it's not even like anything that's going to be a long time coming back. But, um, I'm also going to save. It's been a hot second. But like, I'm not coming back here for a while. Down here, and I may do one of these battles because I just saved, this is where I'm going to do all of my job grinding. I am not going to do it now. I am probably going to wait until I can access this spot way later in the game. Even though I'll have pretty good access to it for a minute. Oh wait, you have the Dancing Dagger effect. Let's get you the Thunder Rod. And I'm not a multiple of five, so we're good. Oh wait, no, it's, I cast level 5 death to one-shot these things, right? So these things are kind of tough. They can appear in groups of 2 or 5. How do you feel about wind? Neutral? Okay, well... This might have been a mistake. These things are kind of tough. Oh my god. I'm just hoping an AoE kills the first one at this point. Yeah. Okay. Uh, these things, they're gonna be tough to deal with later. Okay, I know. I'm gonna say no to that. After I do this. After I shoot you once. Yeah, I don't have a Suna. I have one gold needle, Lamau. Let's fix that. I'll get more. I will inevitably get way more. Aim... Not even gonna take a chance and just thunder it. So that took a lot of resources. That's why I'm not grinding it out now. I don't have an easy way to fight these things, but there's a lot of gill, no EXP, and four to eight AP. Wow, two gold needles back worth. Um, it's good money. It's really good AP for in a casual playthrough, nowhere because you have level five death or thundaga or something. But late game when I can afford to buy like rods by the truckload and have the means to. I'm gonna come back and that's where I'm gonna get, like, rapid fire and dual cast on as many people as feasible. Um, which is going to be a hefty grind session, but like, the last one in the game, probably. But that's not gonna be now, that's gonna be way later. I wanted to show that spot off now, because it's like the earliest you can do that. Where if you want- if I wanted rapid fire and dual cast right now, I could. Also, wow, holy money. Um, let's just, like, get some random items here. Not that I need eye drops ever. Antidotes are fine. Just in case I'm feeling lazy. Gold needles. I feel like I may need some of these. Uh, Phoenix downs. I'll probably get later, but I can buy them by the truckload. And potions I'm going to almost max out on. This is just chemist stuff. Ether, holy water. Oh, I should get like a couple holy waters, actually. Um, 
Um, don't need cottages. Tents are okay. And then, yeah, those are just those. I intended this one to be kind of short. Whoops. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, okay. So we got weapon shop. Okay. Better dagger, sleep blade, wind spear, dark bow, chain whip. Okay. So that's all that stuff. I think the equipment wise, the shops are more or less unchanged. I could be wrong. Ninja suit, Gaia gear, gauntlets. I don't know what those are for. I'll buy them out of curiosity because money's not a problem right now. And then magic is all the same level 4 magic, and that's pretty much going to be the case for, like, most of the rest of the world here. Um, I'm going to go up here. Oh no, a hidden staircase! I don't know why I said oh no, actually. Equip is optimized, only takes accounts, items, attack, defense, not other effects, so accessories like the elemental girl's hair pin may be unequipped. Angel robe. Don't think I need that. I think that's, like, chemist only, which is, like, really odd equipment. I'm a shopkeep! I'm a shopkeep! Parts shopkeeper! Band. Sad Barts. And we get Lamia's Harp, Lamau. But I don't have a bard, so hey, I'm gonna come around the counter here in a sec. Uh, I got something for you. Hey, you. Thanks, thanks for 1600 guild, buddy. Alright, so there's gauntlets. Um, good defense and nothing else. But since you're kind of the de facto tank, let's go do that, actually. Strength goes down by a lot, but you being an evasion tank or an evasion user right now just seems like kind of the ideal thing. And I think that's about it for Castle Ball here. Um, I don't think there's much else in the way of, like, hidden treasures and whatnot. I'll look at a map later. Um, people can, like, just posthumously yell at me in comments or whatever. So, yeah. We got to here, sort of a hub, kind of. And, uh, next time we're gonna do a dungeon and do some plot. That's next time me's problem. Have a wonderful evening, everyone. Smash Jack!